All right, Coach Ryan, right off the 8-2 win against uh, Kent State, 27-6. to uh, Pretty dominant performance. He had a, cl a lot of close matches. Kenny had a great match at 184 with Sam Wheeler, but I thought yeah. he was never in danger of losing the match. I thought Kenny controlled it throughout. Uh, he got a, a takedown stolen on him in the end of the first period, but then he wrestled the rest of the match how he should have and looked pretty yeah. solid. And that was the marquee matchup. And then Logan. Logan recovered from a loss. He was undefeated last year on state champ. And uh, he's able to, to flip that, you know, come from behind you know he loses to rutherford comes back beats a small 10 nothing but yeah. he gets ridden out yeah he's been ridden out two times in the last yeah. two matches i don't think yeah. it's ever happened to logan steber have you ever seen that happen to logan Stever? no no but you know obviously logan logan has a really good uh a really good base of of understanding of a long season of doing things the right way of uh bouncing back he doesn't get too high or too low i mean logan does a really good job overall at maintaining a level of calmness. Uh, and, and I think you know, that's one of his great strengths. I think he's one of the greatest wrestlers, and that's just my opinion. Yeah. I think he's one of the greatest wrestlers of all time to ever put a singlet on in the NCAA, in the history of the tournament. Yeah, no, I think, I think he's, obviously his plan is to show that. And, and the setback at Penn State, I mean, obviously I think people can see that, and there's no excuses. He's gotta do a few things better than he has. But I think people can see he's not, he's not 100%. I mean, this isn't, we're not seeing a completely healthy Logan Steber. Uh, so, so in saying that, though, uh, you know, saying it doesn't, if it doesn't, if it doesn't challenge me, it doesn't change me. I mean, he need he needed the loss isn't the worst thing for Logan. It hurts, it hurts bad. That that loss hurts our staff. It hurts him. But uh, at the end of the day, we move forward. We get better, and as a team, I mean, that that loss stung our team. And you bounce back four days later, and, and it wasn't a great day for us. It wasn't a great night for us. But you put it behind you. You assess some things that you did wrong, and you move forward. Yeah, how important is it to not have too high of peaks and too high of valleys in the season and save it for March? And you know, I think I think the bottom line is sometimes, uh, you know, I, listen, here's what's important in wrestling. You, you, you always put your best product on the mat. What's what's the best version of Logan Steber? What's the best version of Kenny Quartz? And to this to date, we haven't seen that for anybody. We saw dominant Logan Steber in Vegas look good, left there healthy. At some point between then and our next match, he's not. Overall, what's the best version of you? And I think sometimes people get whether the pressure, the long season, the fatigue, uh, they get into situations where they're focused on things other than just being the best version that I can be of myself. And tonight we saw a better version. I, we didn't see the best version of anybody, but tonight was definitely a step forward. I thought Nick Roberts really bounced back well yeah, from the yeah. loss of Penn State, and I think he really responded to whatever you guys did from you know, Sunday to, the, to today. Yeah. And uh, I heard you guys got off the bus Sunday and you worked out. Is that true, Coach? That is true. When yes. you, when uh, you're an trying- An intelligent to... workout. A workout that wasn't a penalty workout, but a workout that they, that they, that they needed. Uh, you know, it's an hour of condition. We've got to get, listen, we've got to get our weight under control. You've got to make weight the right way. When you wrestle someone like Brown or Taylor or Rutherford, and, and maybe your weight isn't exactly where it needs to be, and you're cutting a little bit too much weight or your nutrition's off, the littlest things at this level are gonna cost you. And, and we, saw, uh, we saw a team across the board that was extremely flat against a team that wasn't flat, and, and the end result was what it was. I thought Ian Paddock really bounced back nicely from Sunday to tonight. An exciting match with Michael De Palma, really back and forth. Yeah. They were throwing some, uh, some haymakers at one another, and he just went and got it in the first period with that. Yeah, it was step a great across. match. It was a great match. De Palma's tough. We knew obviously it would be a tough match. I thought Ian did a great job, scored early. De Palma comes back in the middle of the match, and something that we need to see Ian do and continually build Ian's inner confidence is you got to know you can score late, and he did that. You know, he came back. It was it was tied, I think, at one point, and winning by a couple points. So, so that that uh, belief that I can wrestle hard the entire match is is. Critical conditioning is a fact. Conditioning and weight management is a factor in every match, uh, and uh, you know this team needs to continue to to, to to challenge themselves more in those situations. Contin or you know, s you know, speaking about someone who's not cutting any weight, yeah. Nick Heflin. Nick yeah. Heflin shouldn't be cutting any weight. He yeah. just jumped up two weight classes, yeah. 74 two-time All-American. Now he's yeah. at 197. And you know, him and I talked last year at the NCAs. He said that he didn't feel yeah. like he had enough go juice to have offense. But yeah. well, now we see him at 97. And he's not yeah. an offensive terror. Yeah, no, he just in general. Listen, Congratulations, he's, Blake. He's got, Have a good one. Thank you. He, he's got a great defense. You know, he has an offense that I think he's very cautious to use, because when you're when you're used to winning, doing so, something that's that's worked for you, it's hard to get you out of that situation. So for him, it's been something that's worked for four years in college, three years in college, and it's going to be hard to change it. We're not going to change him. 
Uh, we keep his defense strong. You make his conditions high. You keep his weight up because he's not huge at 97. You keep him strong, and you're going to get what you're going to get from Nick Heflin. He's a winner. He's a competitor, and and we're going to see that from now to the rest of his, to his career ends. He can win 197 pounds. I think I think he can win 197 pounds. <clears throat> we do pounds. too. And we do too. He's got to continue to work on a few things and continue to stay positive, uh, continue to keep his weight up because that's probably the biggest factor. He has his weight, and I mean, he's strong as an ox. So, uh, you know, this team, this team at the end of the year uh, can, can, can be great. You know, Nick Roberts showed at Vegas that he can compete with anybody in the country uh, at, at 125. We go to Penn State, and he just didn't compete. Uh, when he's competing, he's really tough. I mean, kid's been on world teams. He's won three state titles. Uh, but but I, th I, think, I think for all kids at this level, they're not kids, they're men, at this level, learning how hard you've got to fight to score points is a process. In high school, they probably thought they were fighting real hard. It's another level. I mean, creating oppor scoring opportunities is, is another level. So Nick, Nick Roberts can place high. Johnny DeJulius can. Ian Paddock can. Logan Stevers. I mean, so up and down the lineup, we've got people that can get it done. So, can you qualify all ten guys to the NCAA tournament? Uh, I would say that Randy, in, in the middle, Randy and Joe are going to have to beat someone really good. You know, Joe was a tough loss at 65. I mean, that was a disappointing loss. He had the match under control. Uh, gets a little sloppy, uh, gets into a scramble. Kid catches him in a cradle for four to change the match. So that would have been a nice win for us tonight. But you know, those two guys are we're, we're, we're fortunate during the program. Uh, you know, three nine. Randy Lang is our 57, a 4.0 GPA in engineering this semester. They're just great people. They're disciplined. And you can never count them out when you live like that. Is Nick Tavanello going to be a guy that can be there? He placed in Vegas low, but is he a guy that can be there? Yeah, he can. He's got a leg attack he can score with. You know, I think we watched his Penn State match. I mean, he watches his team struggle. He had two chances to score and didn't get them. He's just got to score when he has a chance. And, uh, you know, we, we feel good about, we feel real good about Nick Tavanello. He does everything right, Nick Tavanello. He's a good man. This is a grind this whole season. You yeah. talk about it. You're going to give these guys some time off, I believe. Absolutely. And you guys have a long, long time till you wrestle again. Yeah. What do you have these guys do? What do you say to them? How do you get guys like Logan Steber healthy? You know, you get people understanding and buying in that you've got to do everything right. I mean, being in the practice room and, tr and practicing hard, most teams do that. But the little things matter. I mean, when you go home, how often are you going to hit the streets? How long are you going to hit the streets for? What pace are you going to run at? When you come home, what are you going to eat? How much rest are you going to get? It's a seven-day break for them, but they should come back uh, rejuvenated. Uh, their weight management should be less of an issue. And, and, you know, the ones that want to be great, that really put their money where their mouth is, that's what they do. So we'll see. You know, we'll see. We'll see what weight they come back at. We'll test their body fat again when they come back, and we'll see where they are. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No, thanks. Thank you.